In this video, we'll discuss the 10 best ETFs to buy and hold forever. So, before we begin, please like this video and subscribe to this channel for weekly updates. Let's get started. Exchange traded funds, or ETFs, are quickly taking over as investors navigate the stock market while Russia is at war with Ukraine. Investors swarm to ETFs when market volatility rises, according to Todd Rosenbluth, Senior Director of ETF and Mutual Fund Research at CFRA Research, who spoke with CNBC in an interview in March 2022. According to Rosenbluth, one of the biggest benefits of investing in ETFs is that, in contrast to many other investment vehicles, you can get out when you want, you can get in when you want. Now let's go over our list of the top 10 ETFs to buy today and hold forever. Number 10. Invesco QQQ Trust, ticker, QQQ. Invesco QQQ Trust is an ETF that tracks the biggest non-financial companies in the NASDAQ 100 index. Invesco QQQ Trust has consecutively outperformed the S&P 500 index since its inception in 1999, and the fund has demonstrated a growth of $10,000 as of December 31, 2021. Invesco QQQ Trust exposes investors to multiple innovative sectors such as augmented reality, cloud computing, big data, mobile payments, streaming services, and electric vehicles among others. The largest underlying security in Invesco QQQ Trust portfolio is Apple Inc. In March of 2022, Morgan Stanley analyst Katie Huberty said that Apple's latest launch event was in line with her expectations, while it also highlighted the continued output of Apple's world-class innovation engine. She kept an overweight rating and a $210 price target on Apple Inc. shares. Elite hedge funds are extremely bullish on Apple Inc. In the fourth quarter of 2021, 134 hedge funds reported owning stakes worth $186 billion in Apple Inc., up from 120 funds in the previous quarter, holding stakes in Apple Inc. valued at $146 billion. Berkshire Hathaway is the largest shareholder of the company, with a stake worth $157.5 billion. Number 9. Schwab U.S. Dividend Equity ETF, ticker, SCHD. Schwab U.S. Dividend Equity ETF is an exchange-traded fund that seeks to mirror the total return of the Dow Jones U.S. Dividend 100 Index. As of December 31, 2021, Schwab U.S. Dividend Equity ETF's market capitalization is $138.57 billion, with a return on equity of 31.40%. The annualized one-year returns of Schwab U.S. Dividend Equity ETF track the benchmark returns closely. As of February 2022, the one-year annual return posted by Schwab U.S. Dividend Equity ETF was 17.87%, whereas over the same period, the Dow Jones U.S. Dividend 100 Index returned 18%. The portfolio is primarily concentrated in the financials, information technology, consumer staples, industrials, and healthcare sectors. The most significant holding in Schwab U.S. Dividend Equity ETF's portfolio is Amgen Inc., a company focused on human therapeutics, specializing in inflammation, oncology, hematology, bone health, cardiovascular disease, nephrology, and neuroscience. In March 2022, Amgen Inc. declared a quarterly dividend of $1.94 per share, in line with the previous target. With a forward yield of 3.39%, the dividend is distributable on June 8, for shareholders of record on May 17. In Q4 2021, 52 hedge funds in the database of Insider Monkey reported owning stakes worth $1.82 billion in Amgen Inc. As of the close of the December quarter, Two Sigma Advisors is the largest stakeholder of Amgen Inc., with 1.81 million shares worth approximately $407 million. Number 8. Vanguard S&P 500 ETF, ticker, VOO. Vanguard S&P 500 ETF mirrors the returns of the S&P 500 index, exposing investors to the biggest 500 U.S. companies. Vanguard S&P 500 ETF's one-year annual returns as of December 31st came in at 28.66%, closely tracking the benchmark, which stood at 28.71%. The fund's total net assets at the end of December 2021 were $816.6 billion, with the top 10 holdings comprising 30.1% of the total portfolio. A significant holding in Vanguard S&P 500 ETF's latest portfolio is Alphabet Inc., the parent company of Google and Google subsidiaries. In March 2022, Alphabet Inc. announced that it has stopped its advertising services in Russia, following the steps of other digital ad sellers in the wake of Russia's invasion of Ukraine. The ban covers its search products as well as YouTube and outside publishing partners. 
Deutsche Bank analyst Ben Black initiated coverage of Alphabet Incorporated with a buy rating and a $3,150 price target in March 2022. According to the analyst, Alphabet Incorporated is a structural winner from the secular trend of commerce and services shifting from offline, physical venues to digital storefronts. The fourth quarter database of Insider Monkey reported that 158 hedge funds were bullish on Alphabet Incorporated, up from 156 funds in the quarter prior. The largest Alphabet Incorporated shareholder is TCI Fund Management, with approximately 3 million shares worth $8.5 billion. Number 7. iShares Core S&P Midcap ETF, ticker, IJH. iShares Core S&P Midcap ETF tracks the investment results of the S&P Midcap 400 Index, which holds mid-capitalization U.S. equities. As of March 2022, the total net assets of iShares Core S&P Midcap ETF equaled $63.5 billion, and the one-year total return at the end of February 2022 was 7.90%, whereas the benchmark returned 7.98% over the same period. A prominent security in iShares Core S&P Midcap ETF's portfolio is Builders First Source Incorporated, a company that manufactures and supplies building materials and construction services to professional home builders, contractors, remodelers, and consumers across the United States. Builders First Source Incorporated is a popular construction stock on Wall Street. In the fourth quarter of 2021, 59 elite hedge funds held long positions in Builders First Source Incorporated, up from 53 funds in the prior quarter. The total stakes held in Q4 were valued at $2.38 billion. Coliseum Capital is the leading stakeholder of the company, with 4.6 million shares worth $402.7 million. Just like Microsoft Corporation, Alphabet Incorporated, and Apple Incorporated, Builders First Source Incorporated is a notable stock on the radar of institutional investors. Number 6. Vanguard Small Cap Index Fund ETF Shares, ticker, VB. Vanguard Small Cap Index Fund ETF shares uses a full replication strategy to mirror the returns of the CRSP U.S. Small Cap Index, which measures the investment return of small capitalization stocks. Vanguard Small Cap Index Fund ETF shares holds 1,550 stocks in its portfolio as of January 31, with total net assets amounting to $129 billion. The fund on December 31 reported one-year average annual returns of 17.72%, whereas the benchmark index returned 17.71%. A prominent holding in Vanguard Small Cap Index Fund ETF shares portfolio is Diamondback Energy Incorporated, a Texas-based independent oil and natural gas company. The energy sector once again topped the S&P 500 index in March 2022 even as crude oil futures fell more than 2%, extending the group's year-to-date gains to 35% as investors focus on mounting inflation fears despite crude's one-day reprieve. Which of these 10 ETFs would you like to buy and hold long-term in your investment portfolio? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for the best stocks to buy and latest investment strategies for building wealth. Thank you for watching and happy investing. Piper Sandler analyst Mark Lear in March of 2022 raised the price target on Diamondback Energy Incorporated to $163 from $142 and kept an overweight rating on the shares. U.S. exploration and production companies have outperformed the broader market year-to-date, but the equities do not reflect the longer-term oil and gas supply uncertainty in the wake of the Ukraine invasion, the analyst told investors in a bullish thesis. Among the hedge funds tracked by Insider Monkey at the end of December 2021, 45 funds were long Diamondback Energy Incorporated, with combined stakes amounting to $572.4 million. Harris Associates is the biggest Diamondback Energy Incorporated stakeholder as of Q4 2021, with more than 3 million shares worth almost $328 million. Number 5. Vanguard Total International Stock Index Fund ETF Shares, ticker, VXUS. Vanguard Total International Stock Index Fund ETF shares tracks the performance of the FTSE Global All Cap X US Index, which measures the investment returns of stocks issued by companies located outside the United States. The passively managed index allows exposure to investors across developed and emerging non-US equity markets. Vanguard Total International Stock Index Fund ETF shares total net assets as of January 31 amounted to roughly $403 billion, with the 7,717 holdings in its portfolio allocated across securities from emerging markets, Europe, the Pacific, the Middle East, and North America. Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company Limited is the biggest underlying security in Vanguard Total International Stock Index Fund ETF shares portfolio.
the company manufactures and sells integrated circuits and semiconductors. Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company Limited in March 2022 reported that its February revenue increased 37.9% year-over-year to 146.93 billion Taiwan dollars. On a year-to-date basis, revenue for the company grew 36.8% to 319.11 billion Taiwan dollars. Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company Limited is committed to cooperating with new control rules, after Taiwan's government said that it would join international sanctions on Russia following the invasion of Ukraine. Among the hedge funds monitored by Insider Monkey in Q4, 72 funds were bullish on Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company Limited, up from 67 funds in the preceding quarter. Number 4. Vanguard Russell 1000 Growth Index Fund ETF Shares, ticker, VONG. Vanguard Russell 1000 Growth Index Fund ETF Shares is an exchange-traded fund that tracks the Russell 1000 Growth Index, a widely diversified market index consisting primarily of growth stocks of large U.S. companies. The ETF's one-year annual returns came in at 27.50% as of December 31, whereas the benchmark returns were 27.60%. Vanguard Russell 1000 Growth Index Fund ETF Shares Portfolio is dominated by technology, industrials, healthcare, and consumer discretionary stocks. With total assets of $11 billion and the top 10 holdings comprising 50.3% of the total investments, Jeff Bezos Amazon.com Inc. is a prominent underlying security of the exchange-traded fund. Amazon.com Inc. traded higher in March 2022 after the announcement by the company of a 20-for-1 stock split and a $10 billion buyback authorization. There is also some discussion that Amazon.com Inc. split could set it up for inclusion in the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Amazon.com Inc. is perhaps the most popular growth stock in the hedge fund universe. Number 3. Vanguard Total Stock Market Index Fund ETF Shares, ticker, VTI. Vanguard Total Stock Market Index Fund ETF Shares is a passively managed exchange-traded fund that employs an index sampling strategy and seeks to track the performance of the CRSP U.S. Total Market Index. As of December 31, Vanguard Total Stock Market Index Fund ETF Shares' average annual one-year returns were similar to its benchmark, coming in at 25.72%. Vanguard Total Stock Market Index Fund ETF Shares Portfolio holds a diversified basket of 4,136 stocks, with total net assets amounting to $1.3 trillion as of January 31. NVIDIA Corporation, an American semiconductor and chip maker, is a notable underlying security in the ETF's portfolio. NVIDIA Corporation is extremely popular among institutional investors. The fourth quarter database of Insider Monkey shows that 110 hedge funds held long positions in Nvidia Corporation, up from 83 funds in the quarter earlier. Number 2. SPDR S&P Midcap 400 ETF Trust, ticker, MDY. SPDR S&P Midcap 400 ETF Trust seeks to track the price and yield performance of the S&P Midcap 400 Index, and the benchmark measures the performance of mid-sized companies. The exchange-traded fund is close to $19.4 billion in assets under management. The biggest holding in SPDR S&P Midcap 400 ETF Trust Portfolio is Camden Property Trust, a Texas-based real estate company primarily investing in the acquisition and construction of multifamily apartment communities. In February 2022, Camden Property Trust declared a $0.94 per share quarterly dividend. The dividend is payable on April 18, for shareholders of record on March 31. As of December 31, 2021, Camden Property Trust had approximately $1.5 billion of liquidity comprising approximately $613.4 million in cash and cash equivalents and no amounts outstanding on its $900 million unsecured credit facility. The company's revenue of $305.36 million beat market consensus by $1.01 million, up 16.8% year-over-year. Number 1. Vanguard Real Estate Index Fund ETF Shares, ticker, VNQ. Vanguard Real Estate Index Fund ETF Shares invest primarily in real estate investment trusts or REITs, closely tracking the returns of the MSCI U.S. Investable Market Real Estate 2550 Index. The exchange-traded fund holds 168 securities in its portfolio, with total net assets amounting to $84.7 billion as of January 31, 2022. One of the biggest underlying equities in the Vanguard Real Estate Index Fund ETF shares portfolio is Prologis Inc., a global leader in logistics real estate. Elite hedge funds are buying Prologis Inc. stock. 
At the end of December 2021, 37 funds reported owning stakes in Prologis Incorporated, up from 32 funds in the preceding quarter. The total stakes held in the fourth quarter amounted to $544.3 million. Jeffrey Ferber's AU Capital Management is the largest shareholder of Prologis Incorporated, with 2.1 million shares worth over $358 million. Which of these ETFs would you like to buy and hold in your portfolio long term? Let us know in the comments below. For weekly updates on the top stocks to buy and the newest wealth building investment strategies, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Happy investing and thanks for watching.